Lovelace child. So how's that, Mrs. Jenkins? Oh, that's fine. Thank you, Calvin. You too, Eddie. I really appreciate this. No sweat. Moving pianos, watering plants, feeding parakeets. What's a mailman for? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jenkins is going to like this. Oh, Calvin, if you see him before I do, don't mention it, OK? Oh, you mean it's a surprise? What she means is she hasn't told him she's spent the money yet. <laughs> Lester won't care. Won't care? <laughs> a man who just got a gas bill, telephone bill, insurance bill, electric bill, rent. He won't care. Dental bill? Dental bill for you. What's wrong with your teeth? I bit a mailman. <laughs> Well, I bet hit the old appointed rounds. Oh, wait a minute. Can I give you a cookie or something? Oh, no. Not allowed to accept gratuities. How about money? I think that'd be all right. <laughs> For you. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Jenkins. And you. Good luck with the piano. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Come on in, Rose. You too, Pearl. <laughs> Mayor, you bought a piano. Oh, I love it. Hey, it sounds good, too. <laughs> well, you ought to know. In fact, I was wondering if you'd consider giving me lessons. Oh, I'd be glad to. Of course, I've taught mostly children. I used to be good on a piano. You? Mm -hmm. I used to love to sit on the top and tantalize the boys with my ankles. <laughs> oh, girl. So, Mary, when did you and Lester decide to get a piano? Well, I got to thinking how Lester really loves music. Uh-oh. She hasn't told him. <laughs> Lester is a very understanding man. Besides, it only costs $600. $600? Six Are you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> honey, I... Well, don't give me honey, I... I was $600, I could buy myself a complete ski outfit. You don't know how to ski. And you don't know how to play the piano. <laughs> Honey. Don't touch me, I'm mad. I won't stay here. Hi. Hi, Brad. Where do we get the piano? We bought it. How would you like to take lessons? Lessons? Do I have to? Mom, it's not even electric. <laughs> Well, Brenda, I thought you would be here. Oh, Mom, can we please talk about this later? Go ahead. I don't think she's dying to take piano lessons. If you want the real truth, I thought I'd take piano lessons. You take piano lessons? Well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Remember those ceramic classes you took last year? 5,000 ashtrays and none of our friends smoked. <laughs> Why don't you stick to singing? You already had singing lessons, and you're good at it. Well, maybe you're right. Hello, Mary. Rose tells me you bought a piano. Mind if I show her? Well, come on, Sandra. <laughs> Fine, go ahead. Hi, Lester. Hey, Sandra, Rose. Lester, look at this old piano. Isn't it nice? Uh-huh. <laughs> How'd Lester like it? Ooh, that much, huh? Ooh, I'd love to learn to play the piano. To sit down at the keys and have all the men gather around. <laughs> Sandra wants to take piano lessons, too. And Rose was kind enough to offer. For a small fee. On my piano? Well, with your approval, I thought I could give lessons to both of you. For a small fee. <laughs> Unless you're afraid to take lessons with me, Mary. Well, I'm just looking ahead. I wouldn't want you to get upset if I progressed faster than you did. You progressed faster than me? Well, I do have the advantage of youth. <laughs> Look again, your advantage is slipping. <laughs> Mary's decided not to take lessons. Oh, no, she hasn't. 20 bucks says I progressed faster than you. You're on. 620 bucks down again. <laughs> I wish Rose would hurry up and come back. I can't wait to get started. I can. Oh, 
I'm sorry about taking lessons at night, honey. I guess Rose wanted Sandra and I to start together because she thought the competition would be good for us. If it doesn't leave blood on the keys. <laughs> You're really serious about this stuff, aren't you? If I tell you something, you won't laugh, will you? I'll try not to. Well, see, I've always had this fantasy. We're having dinner at the White House with the president and say, Lady Di and Gorbachev and all the rest of them cats. <laughs> anyway, the party's really dull, so. The first lady stands up and she says, is there a pianist in the house? And of course, I don't say anything, but you forced me to stand up. <laughs> and they all applaud and, well, I stand up and I walk to the piano. <laughs> and I sit. And then I play to thunderous applause. <laughs> <laughs> and well, the president and Lady Di and Gorbachev, <laughs> they're all beside themselves. Well, they just stand up and cheer and hug each other and, well, I've saved the world. You know, baby, that makes me mighty proud. <laughs> Mom, I finished the dishes. Oh, thanks, honey. Do you need me to do any ironing or fold the laundry? Brenda, or... you don't have to take piano lessons. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I'll be doing my homework. Oh, that must be Rose. I'm going to the bed. <laughs> Good evening, Mary. Well, where's Sandra? I'm coming. <laughs> I just didn't know what to wear for a piano lesson. It doesn't matter. It's a girl piano. <laughs> cute, Mary, that's cute. OK, ladies, let's get to it. Did you make your hand tracing? I did. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now, this will help you know what fingers to use on the keys. Sandra, where's your tracing? I couldn't do it. My nails were wet. <laughs> Besides, I already know how many fingers I have. How about your toes? <laughs> Mary, a perfect 10. Good. The operation was a success. Children! <laughs> children, children. Now, let's pay attention. Okay? Now, the first thing you have to learn is that this is a piano. <laughs> Ooh, uh, well, the children always thought that was funny. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna start with the scale. Now, do you know anything about scales? I know they always lie. <laughs> Mary, please. Now, excuse me. This is middle C. That's because it's in the middle. Sandra. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. Right thumb, finger number one on middle C. And we go up the scale. C, D, E, crossover F, G, A, B, C. Now, Mary, you sit down and you try it. OK. Say the notes out loud. C, D, E. Why doesn't it just start with A? <laughs> because it doesn't. Play. Excuse me. C, D, E, F. Ooh, Mary hit a clinker. <laughs> Let's see if you can do better. C, D, E, F, G. Arch your fingers, M. arch your fingers. I'm arching. G, A, B, C. C, Sit B. Sit up straight, sit up straight. G, May I? Oh, for heaven's sakes, go ahead. B, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I'll see you later, baby. Where are you going, honey? Down to the bowling alley where I can concentrate. Wait up, Daddy. I'm going with you. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Here's a silly bug sitting on a rug. He feels pretty snug. Sure, 
this is how Liberace's done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sandra, that was wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Do I have a surprise for you? Give me your little hand. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I got a gold star. <laughs> OK, Mary, it's your turn. OK, now, where were we? I know where I was. C, D, E, F. <laughs> I'll get it. Mary. Oh, Pro, are we disturbing you? Yes. <laughs> but at least your music is driving all the ants out of my kitchen. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have to play at night because Sandra works in the daytime. Now, she's making a big federal case out of this. You think it was the World Series or something? You know what I mean? Yeah, you mean she's doing better than you. <laughs> well, I hate to admit it, but you're right. Well, it figures. She's had lessons before. What? Mm-hmm. She told me that she had some lessons when she was in high school. You mean she actually bet me 20 bucks when she knew she had lessons before? Bye bye, 20. <laughs> oh, no. Mm mm. Two can play that game. I'm going to practice night and day. But Mary Sandra works in the day now. That's not fair. Fair my foot. I'm going to pull the rug on that smug little bug. <laughs> Thanks, Calvin. Anytime. Uh-oh, Mom's at it again. Yeah. You want to come in for a root beer? No, I don't think so. <laughs> She's been practicing that for the past two days. Yeah, you know, I have to admire her. Because if I was that bad at anything, I'd give up. <laughs> Just fine, thank you. Okay, now play the first notes louder. Okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Mary, don't <laughs> look at your fingers. This isn't easy, you know. I know, I know. But just try to relax, have fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Much better, much better. Give her a blue star. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'm trying to figure out where to put my fingers. Mary, Mary, you're causing yourself a lot of tension for a silly little bet. Why don't you relax? Pay me now. <laughs> I know what. Why don't we have a little party? We'll have some friends over, they can listen to us, and then they can decide who's best. Well, I don't think either one of you recital material. <laughs> if Sandra's not up to it. No, no. If you insist upon making this a childish contest, go right ahead, give your party. But look out, because little old Sandra will be right there. Ooh, you can count me out of that vote. <laughs> Won't matter. It's going to be a landslide anyway. What are you going to play? Twinkle, twinkle, little star? You're getting pretty good at that. Uh... <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, I think I'll play Jingle Bells. Or maybe I'll play Minuet in G by Ludwig van Beethoven. Mary, you've been practicing. That's not fair. So you took lessons before. 
before. That's not fair. But you know I work in the daytime. So I worked in the daytime, too. <laughs> That's not why. I don't care if it's not Children, right on Children, children, children. Just help yourself to the hors d'oeuvres, Cora. Break a leg, honey. <laughs> These are for you, Mary. Oh, thank you, Pearl. Now, this is for Sandra. I always hedge my bets. <laughs> I'll just put these down. I want my vase back. <laughs> well, anything else I should know? Any little last-minute tips? Mm, no, Mary. And if there were, I'd have to tell them to Sandra, too. You know, Rose, you're so fair. Mm. It's sickening. <laughs> you're running out of these little sandwiches, Bear. Good thing I got here early. <laughs> Would you get those? Oh, sure. You know, we just spent 50 bucks on food to win 20. Arch your fingers, arch your fingers, sit up straight. Smile graciously when you win. Don't you think Mom's acting kind of nutty about this? Well, maybe and maybe not. It's kind of the way the world is today. Competition is the name of the game. People compete for education, for love, for jobs. But Mom's competing on who can play the piano the best after three weeks. Brenda, one of the secrets to a long, happy marriage is don't look for a lot of logic and stuff like this. Let's go. Who do you like in this race? Well, Mary's a sure shot on this one. Well, you know, Sandra, she always keeps something in reserve. I know, that's right. <laughs> Evening, Mary. Oh, I don't like the look in Sandra's eyes. Uh -huh. I hope you don't mind I brought along a gentleman friend. Mary Jenkins, meet Bernard I. The renowned composer, singer, and pianist. Hello, Mary. Hello. I hope you don't mind my bringing him. I met him at the talent agency where I used to work. Oh, Lester, meet Bernard. Excuse me, Mary. <laughs> no, nice Hello, to Lester. You. How are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. Oh, boy. Hello. Pleasure. Pleasure. What's she up to? She got to be up to something. Mm -hmm. Um, attention, everybody. Bernard can only stay a little while, but I think I talked him into playing for us if you want him to. Oh, yeah! Thank you, thank you. When Sandra asked me over, she said she had a surprise for me, but this isn't what I had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Any requests? Raspberry beret. <laughs> oh, no, don't tease us. Play the one you wrote. Everything must change. And then you can play your little tune, Mary. <laughs> That's what she's up to. Mm. Make sure Sandra goes first. something for us, Mary dear? Oh, no, 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 no. As hostess, the polite thing would be for you to go first. I insist. Oh, I'd love to. 
but I sprained my little pinky this morning. <laughs> but you can still play, unless you want to call this whole thing off. Come on, baby, you can do it. I can't play after that. Come oh, come on, try it, Mary. You can do it. Please. Well, I guess I'm not taking piano lessons for nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, and Sandra. <laughs> I'm going to play Minuet in G by Ludwig van Beethoven. $20. You deserve it. Oh, I can't keep it. I didn't earn it. No, Mary, it's a bet. It's yours. No, it's yours. Mary. It's mine. <laughs> the small fee. <laughs> I'm real proud of you, baby. Folks, you just heard what Mary's been learning to do. Now I want to show you what she's really good at. And she's got a wonderful song I just love to hear her sing. Mr. Eigner, would you play Girl Talk, please? You got it. Yeah. Sing the song again. dresses that we wear tonight we chew the fat about our dresses and our neighbors fights inconsequential things that men don't really care to know become essential things that women find so apropos but that's a day we're all the same it's just a game we call it girl talk girl talk girl you all meow about the hooks and down the hall Weaker sex, the meeker sex, you mortal males behold. But though you scoff, you wouldn't trade us for a big girl. girl. Thing. 